Hello friends and welcome to another episode where I review fountain pens. This time I have for you a quite mysterious fountain pen. On my latest acquisitions of vintage fountain pens I received this fountain pen as a gift from the seller. It is not a perfect fountain pen but uh, it uh, came in this uh, wonderful pattern and in the, this wonderful yellow color. I don't know the producer of this fountain pen, but on the clip, as you can see, we have written Panther. So, um, of course, the name brings us to the pattern of the fountain pen, uh, this yellow with um, black spots which makes us think of the color of the panther what can i say about this fountain pen it's a medium sized fountain pen it's uh, quite a light fountain pen it comes in this uh, plastic material the clip of the cap is metal and um, it's quite a functional clip Interesting, we don't have a pressure fit cap, but we can we unscrew it and when you we unscrew it You can see uh, a quite uh, generous uh, nib, but it seems uh, generous because um, You can see that a part of the grip section is broken. So I believe that original it was like this and uh, what you see on the nib was covered with plastic but um, because it is broken it uh, reveals the imprints on the steel nib we have p2b i don't know what p2b stands for at the back we have a plastic uh, feed and the barrel on screws and i believe that we have a fountain pen that uses um, international size cartridges. We already have one here, but uh, I will prepare another uh, one for the writing sample. It was a blue one, so I will use also a blue one. <laughs> it is quite a simple fountain pen, but a practical fountain pen. And I believe original was sold for um, as an affordable school fountain pen for uh, children. I will leave its dimensions on the screen and after that we will do the writing sample. So I promised you that I will use uh, international size cartridge and I have here a nice looking um, light blue one we will uh, see if it fits let me see yes it uh, fits I will try to see if I can uh, write with it. Let me see before I will put the barrel back on. And um, right from the start, I've noticed a little problem. You can see that when I pushed the nib, it um, moved. Let me show you. So it moved. Now I'm putting it back together. But um, I don't think that I can write with this uh, fountain pen. I must find a replacement part or the grip part here for me to write with it. But why not? I will try uh, another time. Let me put, yes, this I will apply pressure on the... No, <laughs> I've uh, literally broken it. So I'm sorry, guys. I I was certain that um, this could uh, 
still right. Let me see, yes. So I've managed to take it off. Well, indeed, if we don't have a uh, um, nice, let's say, um, firm part that holds the nib, it uh, won't write. Let me see. No, it uh, won't write. No problem. I will uh, search in a few moments for a part that I believe it could uh, be compatible with this part. Just wait one minute. So guys, after searching for quite a while, I was certain that I can find a matching grip section for this fountain pen. And I was quite lucky because uh, searching through my fountain pens, I've um, come across this Zenith Omega and it has a uh, pressure fit cap, but I'm not, um, I'm only interested in this part of the pen. So I will leave the other two parts right here and you will see that this Panther is compatible with this part so it unscrews i was fortunate that uh, this uh, part is part of the barrel so it can even hold the cap and the cap screws in and voila we have a new panther of course with not with the original nib that um, unfortunately it can't be used anymore you can see because um, of um, this weak point on the grip section that in time maybe it uh, cracked or it was uh, broken by someone. The fact is that um, uh, this type of configuration and I've seen um, even on Mont Blanc, this type of design from the 1970s when you write with this type of nib, it puts pressure on this uh, part of the plastic. So this is a manufacturing flaw in my book. But now let's uh, see the new equipped Panther. We have indeed the nib from the Zenith and it is uh, imprinted Zenith Iridium. And um, I want to do the writing sample. If you are interested how this uh, pen writes, you should go on the review of the Zenith. Why not? Let's uh, do it because uh, I'm sure that someone will um, want to see. Yes, it, uh, it uh, writes. Okay, for uh, this writing sample, let's change a bit the angle of the camera. Okay, so this is the Panther fountain pen. Panther fountain pen. It is uh, quite a juicy nib. By the way, the nib is from Zenit and the model is Omega. You can see we have an uh, open nib. The original model had a um, semi-hooded nib, like you see here. It appears to be open, but believe me, it was covered with the plastic. So originally it was a semi-hooded nib. Let me also test the line variations and you can see no flex to it. And why not? Let's uh, write the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog 
So guys, I'm quite impressed with the nib from this uh, Zenit. I confess to you that uh, it was on my drawer for, uh, I believe, two months. And uh, you, you uh, could see it, uh, um, it rolled for the first time with a little bit of skips. But uh, I'm impressed that um, uh, the ink wasn't dried and it could uh, write for the first time without any intervention. So guys, when you have uh, some fountain pens, especially when they are made in China, but it's not a rule, the, the parts could be interchangeable. So if we, you have a defect piece, that um, is broken and uh, like in this case you can find on other pens uh, some uh, donor parts of course in my case for this to work i uh, stripped the other pen but um, it has the same the same design so we have two quite simple plastic parts Indeed, uh, this was um, unscrewed and this was pressure fit. Practically, it is uh, the same fountain pen with the differences in uh, colors, but the dimensions and the diameter here, it is the same. So the parts can be compatible. Guys, this was my review of uh, quite a uh, colorful fountain pen and I bet that at school this uh, would be the star and I think it's suited uh, for girls and boys so it's um, uh, not uh, gender related um, you could call it a flashy little uh, fountain pen but quite quite an interesting and a simple fountain pen it could be used with converters and uh, cartridges and uh, I believe it's from the early 1990s thank you guys for watching this review wherever you are I wish you to have a nice day Thank you for your time. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, I wish you a nice day and bye-bye.